So I was planning on porting my main project, The Lost Weld, from UE4 to UE5, but my experiences making Hellfire 1988 in UE5 worried me. It seemed like UE4 was a lot faster than UE5, so I decided to put this to the test. I made a C++ project in UE4. First, I made an empty level. Then I made a level with a single stationary directional light and a large ground plane. I create a custom character in C++ that loads a simple teapot and uses Unreal's character movement component to move towards a different, randomly selected teapot every two second tick. On level load, I displayed the FPS and spawned 1500 of these teapots. I built development and shipping builds of this project to measure the FPS. Then I took the same project, converted it to Unreal Engine 5, and measured it the same way. In part two, I'll show you the results. Here you can see the FPS on the shipping build of my Unreal Engine 4 test project. This is with a 12-core Ryzen 9 5900 paired with a Radeon RX 6800 XT on a 3840x2160 resolution screen. The empty level runs at about 600 FPS while the Teapot AI level runs at 75 to 80. And here are the results for the shipping build of UE5 on the exact same system. The empty level is running at 300 FPS. The UE4 version is about 70% faster. Now here is the Teapot AI level using the Unreal Engine 5.0.3 build, 45 FPS. Again, UE4 is about 70% faster. I put this project on GitHub so you can play with it on your system. Maybe there's a secret setting in UE5 that makes it as fast as UE4, but out of the box, this looks like a massive performance loss to me. And I actually have a few more gripes with UE5. I'll tell you about those in part three. So we've seen how Unreal Engine 4 was 70% faster than Unreal Engine 5 for the exact same project. But what about all the cool new features in UE5? Do those make up for the loss in FPS? Maybe, but consider this. Many of those cool UE5 features won't work for many players. For example, Lumen doesn't work on Mac OS X or mobile. Nanite and Virtual Shadow Maps also don't work on Macs or mobile devices, nor for Windows users not using DirectX 12 or Vulkan. Speaking of Windows, UE5 completely drops support for Windows 7. It might be easy to assume that everyone is using the latest gear, but the latest Steam survey shows that about 4% aren't on Windows 10 or 11 and about twice that many don't have DirectX 12 video cards. And the real loss to your player space is likely much bigger since Steam survey takers don't reflect the average gamer. But there's more. If you're a Blueprint developer, you lose the ability to use Blueprint nativization, which means the FPS slowdown could be much harsher for you than C++ does. But what bugs me the most about UE5 is the two features I wanted most are missing. Number one, I wanted better documentation. And number two, I wanted fewer engine crashes. I didn't get either. So that's why I'm sticking with UE4 for the last 12. I'd be really interested in hearing what you think.